In this video, we're going to look at some if s function, which is frequently used as part of Microsoft Excel assessment interview. One of the fastest way to prepare for Excel skills assessment test is by following step-by-step -step tutorials and improving your exams taking skills by taking practice exams and learning how to quickly answer Excel assessment skills question. We are going to do all of these things in this tutorial. This test is frequently used by employment agencies contracting companies and employers themselves to test candidates' knowledge of Excel skills. In this tutorial, we're going to look at sum if s function. Sum if s function adds all the arguments that meet multiple criteria. As you can see in the description of the sum if s function, it has multiple arguments that it can accept. Let's look at the details. Sum if s function is very similar to sum if function with the exception that it can accept additional criteria range pairs, and you can have as many as 127 of those criteria defined in the sum if s function. The mandatory set of arguments is range of the cells to sum, Excel range that tested using criteria range 1, and then criteria which defines which cells in criteria range 1 will be added. So ultimately, the first three arguments are mandatory. The arguments in the square brackets are optional, and you can define, like I said already, up to 127 of those based on the number of criteria and criteria ranges that you have. Now let's look at how we can solve specific problems using some if s function. In the tables you see here, we have orders placed over a certain period of time. Specifically, they were placed between March and July of 2019. This orders, the orders we have here are orders of specific products that were sold at different price points on different dates. Each order has a unique order ID number, product name, it has a sale date, and it has a sale price. Let's look at, for example, how we can solve very simple business problem using SumFS function. Let's find all the sales of smartwatches using SumFS function. To do that, we need to start typing equal SumFS, open parenthesis, and first thing we need to do is define the sum range. This is basically what we're going to be adding using the sum function, and most likely the only argument we can add here would be a sale price. So let's define the range. And range starts here from the cell uh, R6 and goes until the R17. So we basically define all the prices, all the values in this range, but then we tell sum if has for, uh, formula. You would have to select us only smart watches and we would define the range for select criteria uh, and we will define what to select. After the comma, let's define criteria range. And criteria range is the names of the products because this is where a smartwatch is located. So for criteria range, we will define P6 through P17. And then the last argument is that with the criteria itself, here we would have to define smartwatch. And because it's a, a string variable, we would have to use uh, double quotes to define string variables. It should add up two prices um, because we have two smartwatches sales. One is uh, order number 11 and another is order number 21. Let's manually verify this. Uh, to manually verify, we just add this price for the first smartwatch plus second smartwatch and the price matches. The problem we have solved could have been easily solved with some if function. Now let's look at the business challenges you could have solved only with some if s function. I listed all of these business challenges here at the bottom. There are three of them that we'll be working through uh, and we'll be putting the values here in the video section. I also have a section for you to practice. So make sure to download this document, this worksheet, following the link in the description of this video. So let's look at the first business problem. What is the total revenue collected from wireless headphones sold in July? So you see there are two conditions and two criteria that we would need to apply. Number one criteria is we need to identify all wireless headphones and they are in the orders number 10, 12, 18, and 19. And then the second uh, criteria we would need to apply is based on the sales date. To identify July's range, we would have to identify it as multiple ranges. First one would be greater than the last day in June, but less than than the first day in August. 
So let's apply these three criteria using some ifs function. To do that, let's type equal sum ifs and let's first start with wireless head so let's define the sum range which would be the sale price then let's define the criteria range products and the product uh, that range would be uh, in the product column and the last thing let's define wireless headphones I, i'm gonna type it for the four orders of wireless headphones the total amount sold is 183 dollars and 88 cents now let's extend the formula and define uh, addi additional criteria so our uh, second criteria range would be sale date. And here we would have to say that our sale price is greater than last day in June, which would be 6, uh, 30, 2019. But at the same time, we would define the criteria range again for sales date. The sale price should be less than the first day in August, which would be 8, 1, 2019. And you see we filtered out wireless headphones only to these two sales, orders number 18 and 19. Let's manually verify it. So we'll just do a sum of 5597 plus 5597, which matches 11194, which some if as formula calculate. Let's look at some if as formula syntax and uh, look exactly what we've done. In the first range, we've defined the wireless headphones. This is where defined the price. This is the range for product sales and the criteria itself was equals to wireless headphones. Then we use two additional ranges to define dates greater than last day in June. And then we added the third range uh, is less than the first day in August. And that's how we defined sold in July of 2019. I already mentioned that the most effective way to learn is practice yourself. So make sure to download and do the same calculations yourself. See this uh, cell is for you to practice the same calculations. To download the file, go to the description. I need to ask you a favor. In addition to questions that are covered as part of this tutorial, what are the other questions you see on the exam? Could you please post them in the comments section of this video? I'd like to cover those questions in my next tutorials. Thank you very much. And now let's continue and have more fun. Now let's look at the second business problem we have here. What is the total revenue from wireless headphones sold between May and July? To solve this problem, we need to define wireless headphones in the product column. For the sum calculations, we'll use sale price. And to calculate the date, we would need to say between last day in April and the first day in August. So we'll have three different criteria ranges defined in SUMFS formula. Let's do that quickly. So to define the first one, we will use obviously a SUMFS function. And then we say the sum range would be sale price. For the criteria range, we will use product column again, and we will define wireless headphones here. To define between May and July, we will use the sale date, column Q range, and then let me move a little bit so you guys can see it. I'll use comma and then say greater than last day in April, and April is um, 4.30, 2019. And then the last criteria would be same column Q, but it will be less than first day in August. So it would be 8, 1, 2019. So the amount is 167.97. Um, so it includes additional pair, uh, order number 12. Let's validate it manually. Uh, so we already have orders 18 and 19 calculated in, in this manual sum. Let's just add one additional order, uh, number 12 here. And that, uh, matches the amount 167.91. Make sure to solve uh, this business challenge yourself in the cell V21 to make sure you um, reinforce the knowledge. To help you get prepared for Microsoft Excel assessment test, I have created free ebook which contains most frequently asked questions on the exam. Make sure to follow the link in the description of this video to download this free ebook. Now let's continue and have more fun. And we're going to be focusing on the last uh, business problem here. Let's quickly solve this business challenge here. So we're going to use equal sum if s. We'll define the sale price as our sum range. Then we will define the first criteria range, which would be products. And we will say that this would be wireless headphones. 
uh, that would be our first criteria. Then we will define product range again, and we will say that this would be flame lamp. Uh, take a look at the spelling. The question asks flame lamps, but the product itself is defined as flame lamp. So you have to use the spelling as it is in the column P, single, not plural. And that's very important. Otherwise, if you will define flame lamps as the plural, then you will not find any flame lamps here. Even though there are a few sales, uh, there's uh, you have to match the spelling. Now let's look at the date range, which would be column Q. And then we'll say greater than last day in April, 4, uh, 30, 2019. And then the last criteria, number four criteria here, same range in column Q, but we will have less than the first day in August. So what happened? We see uh, empty value here. And apparently this problem cannot be solved as easily. And the reason is because by default, all these ranges add up as end ranges. So let me clarify. We have a condition like give me all wireless, all sales of wireless headphones and all sales of flame lamps and make sure that all the sales are greater than last day in April and um, they are less than the first day in August. But there is no such order that would be at the same time sale of wireless headphones and the sale of the flame lamp. They just don't exist because they are mutually exclusive. There is order for wireless headphone sale and there is an order for flame lamp. We would have to use or condition which would state give me wireless headphones uh, sale or give me the order for the flame lamp sale and then sum up the prices. So what's the solution here? There are two possible options of what we can use to solve this problem. And I'm not going to retype the formulas. I'm just going to show you guys uh, how the formula is going to look like. So the first one is um, we add two sum if s functions together. So this would be the first function for sum if s sales of wireless headphones. And then the second one would be sum if s function for sales of flame lamps. So once we do that, then we get both ranges. But because they're mutually exclusive, we can't have them in just one formula. So once we hit enter, we end up with the total amount of $210.88. And the second solution is more elegant. We basically use one formula inside of the other. So look at the sum if s formula first, which is right here. So we do have both uh, wireless headphones and then flame lamps. But you see the types of brackets we use is more like an array brackets. That's what they called. So we ultimately doing the same thing as in the first formula. And on top of that, we're doing the sum of both of those conditions. So for criteria, we're defining an array of wireless headphones and then flame lamps. And then we're summing up the results of those sum if s executions of this criteria. So try it. Uh, that should be a fun and uh, challenging uh, business condition to solve. And like I said, I'm going to include both of those solutions in the work file, so make sure to download it. Would you like to know what are the key objectives employers are looking to test as part of Excel Employment Assessment Test? Make sure to download free ebook from my website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash exam objectives. Now let's continue and have more fun. Last thing I'd like to do is to show you the three typical questions asked as part of employment assessment test and work through the answers. So the first question, you can have unlimited number of range slash criteria in some if s function. Is this true or false? The answer is false. You have up to 27 range slash uh, criteria pairs inside the function. So that's the right answer. I'm going to highlight it as green here. Go to the next question. Some if s function can only add arguments that meet multiple criteria and doesn't work for single criteria. So let's look at the uh, formula syntax itself. Basically what this question is saying is that we can only use sum if s ranges uh, for the first three arguments. This is what it means to just have the first criteria, which is not true, which is uh, false. This statement is false because we can have up to 127 range criteria pairs in the function. So let's go back and answer it. So the correct answer is false again. And then the last question is SumFS function accepts flexible number of arguments based on the number of range criteria. This answer is true. 
because we don't know how many arguments we are going to pass to the function, right? That's what flexible um, question means. We define criteria based on the business challenge we're trying to solve. It could be one set of arguments, or it could be five, or it could be seven, right? So that's where the word flexible uh, comes from. So the answer here is true. What are the other Excel assessment test questions you'd like me to cover as part of my future tutorials? Could you please post them in the comment section of this video? I really appreciate it. Now let's continue and have more. And now let's look at the multiple choice question that used as part of Microsoft Excel assessment test. We're looking at the multiple choice question. And in this question, you have a question, obviously, and then you have multiple answers. And only one of these answers is valid. So we have answers A through E. And um, the question is which Excel function you can use to calculate total amount of orders shipped in November. To answer multiple choice question, it typically helps to use exclusion. And use exclusion means that you try to understand which functions or which answers are not a valid answers for this specific situation. So let's look at this question in more details. In order for us to calculate uh, amount of orders shipped in November, and you see total amount of orders shipped in November. So we are looking at column D, which represents amount, and we need to calculate total uh, and only total specific to November orders. So basically total that will cover this area. Now we can just, as a human, we know uh, that what the answer would be, but they are looking for us to use formula and or function, right? Which uh, here this term used um, interchangeably. So some function um, is not the right function because some can only calculate values for the entire column. Some does not have any conditions that you can include to use. And since we're being asked to only include orders shipped in November, that some is not the right choice. Now, some if s is the right answer, but let's see how we can get here. Um, some if else is not a right choice because um, this function doesn't exist. Total functions that doesn't exist and total if doesn't exist. So basically this leaves us with answer B. But now let's not just answer the question, let's also see how we can use this function to actually calculate this, which is not asked uh, typically during Excel for multiple choice question. You only ask to select. But in order for you to understand what some if s function does, let's use it in practice, which is one of the best ways to memorize the answer. So let's pick a cell. I'll pick this cell, maybe uh, G7, and here we will actually enter the function. Sum if s, that's the function. Then we open parentheses, and here we select the range for um, the calculation that we'll use for calculation. Our range will be um, D2 through D10. And a lot of times we use formulas for much bigger size Excel document. This is uh, more for educational and for learning, but imagine that you will have thousands of uh, columns I'm sorry, and thousands of rows here, and that's where this formula would be more applicable to do more of the automatic calculations. Here it's easy to do it manually, and we're just testing the skills and knowledge, but um, in real life uh, we definitely would rely on formula to do more of this calc. So first we select this uh, sum range, then we select where range for the conditions or criteria range, which in our case is the uh, dates, because we are looking for the orders shipped in November. Our condition range will be E2 through E10, and then we will have two criteria. Uh, we only require to enter one criteria, but we can't survive with just one criteria. To do it uh, for uh, November, we need to get all the dates that greater the last day in October, but less than uh, first day in December. So now we need to enter the uh, criteria for the condition range that we have criteria range. So now we need to enter criteria one for the criteria range. And criteria one is going to be um, greater than uh, last day in October. So to do that, we will say greater than 10, 31, uh, 2018. And now we need to do second criteria. And second criteria will consist of criteria range and criteria itself. So criteria range remains the same. Second criteria will be different because now we need to say that it also should be less than first day in December. So less than 12, 1, uh, 2018. Let's close double quotes. Let's close parenthesis. And we've calculated the range, I'm sorry, the total amount of orders shipped in November, which is 
$854.99. Let's do it manually. So we know that this is only two rows. So to do that manually, we can just say equals, and then we just add two values, D7 plus D8. And we end up with the same amounts. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.